Hi everyone, so Chelsea Handler has agreed to come in my studio to shoot a makeup tutorial with me and I'm just so excited to share Chelsea with all of you. She's so funny. I just love working with her so much. So you can find Chelsea on Netflix. I worked with her on the show since last year. It's so much fun. And in this video, I'm just basically teaching you a few tips and tricks on how to do makeup on TV. It's a little bit different than doing makeup for red carpet and photo shoots. And you will also just get to see, you know, me and Chelsea together, basically how we are every day at work. So enjoy this tutorial. Can't wait for you to see it and leave me some comments and I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Chelsea Handler and this is my makeup artist, Monica Blunder, and she's going to take my face from this to gorgeous. Watch out. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this foundation. Okay. This is Charlotte Tilbury. And this is what I use on you every day when I'm doing your makeup on the show. So a lot of people have asked me to do your makeup because you know we post a lot of photos. You post a lot of photos. And everyone always asks me how I do your makeup. So I thought I'm gonna do a tutorial and you're so sweet that you came to do this. To the me. valley. I drove to the valley yeah. on my Vespa. She came to the valley with her Vespa. On a Saturday, on her day off, everyone, she came here to do this makeup tutorial. So, can I ask you a question? Would yeah. you, for somebody who wants to do their makeup, because we do my makeup specifically for yeah. camera, on camera, right. right? So, this makeup I'm doing today is really kind of how I do it for the show. So, this is like more TV makeup, and it's actually a really good question because there is a difference between TV makeup and red carpet makeup and makeup for photo shoots. So for t TV, what you really have to look out for is that the lights are so much brighter. So you have to maybe use a little bit more foundation. Also, like what a lot of people forget, what I realize is like the ears is an example. So I always put foundation on your ear. And because that is a good tip because a lot of people don't ever think to cover up your hands or those other yeah. like areas. It's so true. I didn't know about that until you started doing yeah. it. So like for tonight, since I'm just going to a red carpet event, even though we'll, we'll be doing my makeup and I'll wear it tonight, but if I were going Going to a red carpet event where I'm getting photographed, but it's not the same as being on TV. Right, what, it's what a little bit different. It would be. It would be a little bit different. Like I would maybe use a little bit less foundation, and I would also maybe put a little bit more highlight on you because the highlight really catches really nicely with the photo. That's what I notice the most when you highlight me because you right. put the foundation on, and then I'll be looking in the mirror, and, it looks and I'm like, flat. this is flat, and then all of a sudden, all my features become prominent after you like draw yeah. on them. Yeah. I like to bring in is this Makeup Forever HD foundation that's a little bit heavier than the one I used before and I like that so one. So is what you just put on me the primer? No, I, I used the Charlotte Tilbury one and that's like a really light, it's almost like a tinted moisturizer. Okay. It's super light but like there's areas on you like around your chin and like around your nose and like sometimes here around you're like a little bit more red like mm -hmm. the red comes out so I need to cover that a little bit more. So is that so a primer? What's a primer? A primer is actually a cream and a primer is something you put on before you put foundation on and a primer helps for the long longevity of the makeup. And did you put that on today or I no? Did, yeah, I didn't do that on camera. Okay, that, that'll I, be our secret then. Yeah, that'll be our secret. <laughs> One thing that's a good tip what I do on you is color correcting. And I think that's something you like when I do that on you, right? Like I use like, this is like, look, that's peach. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, why is she putting peach under my eye? But if you, like you're a little bit darker or uh -huh. like a bluer undertone. And if you would like put a regular concealer on, something like that. Because I always do that. I put concealer on at home and whenever I'm at home, I put concealer on and it just looks like I have two white patches under my eyes. So you put on the darker one to cut to cut, cut the color the, and then you even it out with and another then concealer. Even it out with that. And that's almost like a highlighter. So that kind of like brightens your eyes. So you, know? you get that little And how do you off. figure out, how do people figure out what is the right under eye concealer color for them? Well, that's, that's the challenge. That's where, when you need me to come in and help you. <laughs> no, but usually the peach cuts out the darkness and then you go in, depending on your skin color. I mean, you have to like know your skin color first. I'm using this primer here by MAC and it has like a really nice kind of fleshy tone. Can I see the color? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of oh. weird looking, right? Yeah. But it just kind of takes away that redness and it's a really good base before I put any eyeshadow over it. 
But with TV, even for your show, you know, every light is so different. And even you remember at the beginning when we started your show and even the lighting was still so different. And you have to kind of like work with the makeup artist and with the artist together to kind of figure out what works. You know, we had to also do a little bit of trial and error at the beginning and like try to figure out what the right colors are for you. And I feel like we kind of figured it out now, which is really nice. Right, because in the beginning when we started shooting the show, it was like I would be look really like there were shadows on my face, the lights yeah. necessary, and then I would look like you could totally see the like bags under my eyes, even though they were small and right. looked covered up in, in plain day. Once on camera, it just kind of um, amplified. It was really hard for me to find the right lip color for you because like you look great with nude, but like we would put on a nude and then I look in the monitor and it's like orange. So that's another thing. You know what I mean? I'm like, why? I just put on nude, but it's I orange. I know. Why? Because of the lighting. So the lighting, yeah. So that's just something you have to just kind of like play around. I also like to play with textures on your eyes. So you can see I put on like a primer, then I put on a, a little bit of a powder and I, now I go over with a cream shadow. And that just creates a really nice texture on your eye and on film it just brings you know brings more interest to the eye more dimension some makeup artists don't like they want you to curl your own lashes but i, I prefer to have my lashes curled but now i know how to do it on you yeah I just go right in there yeah exactly right yeah you have when to I'm just not looking you just have to do it <laughs> <laughs> oh i just really quickly want to show that i used this color on the outer corners right this one right here and that is like my favorite color for you. That's from the Stila palette. I use this, either I use CoverGirl or I use this Tom Ford mascara. Just depending Tom on Tom Ford the has mascara? Yes. Oh, wow. And he has makeup too. Ooh, la la. Yeah, his really? makeup line is so pretty. It but is? like, look on camera how amazing, like you have the best lashes. And I use Latisse, they're not natural. I use Latisse. Yeah, but they're still good. And mascara makes such a huge difference on you. And another thing I want to mention is on you, like you, your eyes, you, you have a little bit of a hooded eye. When it's too dark on top here, uh -huh. it almost like, I like keeping it really open yeah. and bright because it just kind of like opens your eye. What is it? So way. is, what are you, what kind of, how would you describe your eyes? Like what? I have a deep set eye. And I have a hooded eye. So I have eye. more skin. So you don't oh. see your actual lid. You I know? see. So there's certain like little tips and tricks you can do to like yeah, like surgery. No surgery. And I actually like to put more, more color on the bottom for you. For some reason, it opens up your eye more. Because a lot of people think that that's a fallacy. They think that when you put eyeliner on, it closes your eye. Yes. On yes. camera, and yes. that's not true, that's right? That's not true. But on you, for some reason, putting more sh uh, shadow or more darkness on the bottom, like really works on you for some reason. And there's another thing I want to share with everyone is this is, don't you think that this makes such a difference? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something I taught Chelsea and she's never done before, is I use this Charlotte Tilbury, a lot of different companies make it, but it's like a nude color. And I put that in the inside of her eye and on camera or on, on the show, it makes such a difference on her. Even now, if you look in the camera, like it's amazing. So one more thing I do is I put the mascara on with this little fanny brush. She's actually really good today, Chelsea, at work sometimes. She doesn't really give me that. <laughs> she, I mean, there's a lot of people on the show. Like you have to like talk to the writers while I do your makeup and like there's a lot of action going on. That's yeah. what I like when you fill in my brows. Yeah. And it just makes, again, such a big difference. Just a tiny little bit on you and we make it a little bit darker. But you can really see it on camera too. It's just tiny little differences. So I'm going to put this little bronzer on you too. That's another thing I love. It makes such a difference to kind of like give you different dimension to your face instead of just having one color on. And it's not that I'm contouring your, it's just like I'm giving a little bit dimension with a darker shade. And that you can really see on camera. Again, we don't want to like contour, we just want to like brighten the skin. And again, stay away from too much shimmer for TV. Yes, that's right? the thing. People get too tan and too shimmery. Too tan and too shimmery. Too much and orange. Is orange, like yes. It's thing. so gross. Don't spray tan, girls. Oh, it's not, it's, it's gross. It's not a good look, right? It's so much nicer to have natural skin tone. Oh, yeah. This one I love. See how this one doesn't have any shimmer in it? Yeah. It's like super flat. 
And I do put a little bit of a highlight on you, but I'm going to show you after this how I create it. So first I make it really flat and matte. And then on top of it, I put the highlighter over it. What I do to create that highlight on you, because we don't want it to be too shimmery, but I do like a little bit of a highlight. I like this Hourglass palette and I use those two shades and it's just a perfect combination and just gives you that Ooh, really beautiful glow. That brush feels nice. It's so nice, right? Especially when the, the makeup goes flies right up into my eyeball. <laughs> And then I'm blurry-eyed for the rest of the night, which is the way I like it. <laughs> do you use the same stuff on yourself that you use on me? I do. I always test everything out before you. How do you decide it. when you're going to new, try new products? Well, that's a, that's a challenge. So I usually bring it into my bathroom for like a week, and then I give it to Hannah, my assistant, and we both test it out. And then we really figure out if we like it or not. Like, I, I would never put anything on you before I haven't tested it. And then I try it in different lights and everything, and I take a picture. Like, I definitely try it first. For the lips, again, like I said earlier, I've tried so many different colors on you. And I'm not using the same lipstick every day on you for the show because I don't want to get bored. I want you not to get bored. Well, I don't want and you to get bored. If you get bored, then what will exactly. I do? Exactly. So I'd like to like God forbid. try new things. But this color I used on you the other day. You remember when you wore this Valentino yes, dress? Yes, that was my favorite. And you were photographed and you just looked so amazing with your hair pulled back. Yeah, on Instagram. I love that. That's when everyone asked me how I do your makeup and everyone asked me about the lipstick. And this one I used on you and it's just perfect color for you. So Lorik out there sent Chelsea a box of these. Yes. Um, I just love it. I usually put a little bit of a lip balm on because this lipstick is, it's not drying, but it's really matte. So you want to have your lips really nicely moisturized. And then when I put it on, it's super, super matte. And that's, that's something also you love, Chelsea, right? Yes, oh I don't God, like gloss. This is so cute. She, I, I like gloss on you. I do like a gloss on you, you do? sometimes. Yeah, for the show, I love it. But you love a matte lipstick, and this one is so matte. And the way how this one photographs is just perfect. It's like the perfect nude for you. And that's another thing. To find the nude, you have to try, you know? See how is there works. a perfect nude for everyone? There's a perfect nude for everyone. But that's another video. I'm going to do that. And I do a little bit of a lip, um, a lip liner on you because it just for some reason, when I do a tiny little bit of a liner right on here, it just makes your lip a little bit more pouty. Yeah. You know, it just gives you that little poutiness. Well, our lips get thinner when we get older, right? They do, yeah. But you have the perfect lips. Really? And now they're kissable. I wish someone would kiss me. Will someone kiss me? <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Thank you, baby. Yeah.